Hello guys, I am back down 16 PS3 and welcome back to episode 6 of my Gran Turismo Let's Play series. At the end of the last episode we got gold on all of the license tests. You see that? Gold on all five. And in doing so we won a go-kart and an Alfa Romeo Mito. And we've also now got access to the National B uh, tier. What I'm going to do once my game loads is go across to my garage where the new cars are waiting for me. And I think, uh, what's the power like? Yeah, I'm going to jump into my Alpha. Hopefully, it doesn't break down. Oh, good, it started. That's a plus. Wow, this thing's really slow today. Right, if we come out. Of there. Should update to a nice new alpha. And first thing I'm going to want to do to it is put a racing chip in it so it's got the same amount of tuning done to it that the Honda Fit had. Across the power and the sports computer. Boost our horsepower up by 12. Uh, also, big boost to the experience point, uh, the PP points. My experience. We'll talk about. So that's done. What else we got? Intakes. No, don't want to do too much to it to start with. I'll just do that and then see how we get on in the first race. Uh, we've got new cars at the dealerships and new recommended cars, but I won't go into them at the moment. So, National B Freshman Cup is the first series. Uh, it races around Sukuba, Silverstone Stowe Circuit, and Special Stage Route 5, which I believe is at night. If it's the same as all the other Gran Turismo games. What we're going to do is just go straight into the Sukuba Circuit. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Again, Japanese. Don't know how they pronounce things. Uh, so just over 7,500 credits for coming first. That's not too shabby. But of course, with my login bonus, I get an extra 10% on top of that. So let's enter this. Uh, recent news to come out in the last couple of weeks at the time of this recording is that there is a new grid game coming out, Grid 3. Um, unfortunately it's released while I'm on holiday, so I shall be getting it when I get back and I shall start a series in that game uh, to run concurrently with my Gran Turismo series, just to try and get a few more videos out there and then have it on a different game just to try and vary things up a little bit. PlayStation is being really slow. It's the old dome top PlayStation so it's it's got a few years on it, especially now that the PS4 has been released. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's see how we do. I've done this track so many times. Um, I remember in GT5 there was a uh, championship around this, or it was a race, it was an endurance race, four hours in a Mazda. That felt like an eternity. Down second. Round is outside, just make sure that hit in, it's a bit close. No improvement, I'm going to try and not miss any gears. See how well that goes, shall we? Try and catch up to Marichal. It's very so I'm hoping that's how it's pronounced. And trick form, completely missed the gear while I'm trying to pronounce his name. Another one around the outside. Easy peasy. Go after Jaeger. I didn't make any specific note about what cars would be in this race. I was to be talking about upcoming stuff with my channel. Um, so it looks like it might be the BMW. Is that right? Yeah, it looks like it. Really, very old style one. So we're already up to thir third at the end of the first lap. It's not too bad at all. Go after Paps. Steam up inside, hit me, cheeky git. Let's 
go around the outside of first place too, just to rub it in. Sorry fellow Brit, but I want to win. Just try and keep my composure, make sure I don't miss any gears. Just become a bugbear, and also try and break in a straight line so I don't veer off into the side like that. the uh, accelerator down at the right time is always a helpful start. Look how much I'm pulling away from them. I'm only in an Alfa Romeo. We've got 160 brake horsepower, it's not a lot. And across the line in first. Easy peasy. What was the eventual three second gap? It's in a Honda Prelude. Interesting. Don't want to see a replay. 8,400 credits. Not bad. What I just spent and more. Another three stars. I'm not sure how I feel about this star system. And if, oh, new trophy. Twinkle, twinkle, 25 stars. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, as I said, I'm not sure how I feel about the star system and having to use it to unlock um, different events. I know with Gran Turismo 5 it was the A-spec levels and depending on what level you were, depended on what races you could enter. So I guess it's following on a similar vein to that. Into yeah, the Stow Circuit race now. Race 2 of the Freshman Cup. Silverstone's one racetrack I've never been to, but as I live in the UK, I've always wanted to go. Especially for a Formula 1 race, it should be epic. Although with the new Formula 1 cars sounding the way they do, we'll be able to hear a lot more. Um, but obviously won't have the same feel that everyone else has had in the past, where they've had the big V10s, V12s. So I feel like I'm missing out in that respect. but. It would still be awesome to go and see a Formula 1 race there. Why is this thing so slow? It takes forever to load a race. In the meantime, I've got a Mazda RX-7, a Mitsubishi FTO, a Nissan Skyline, a Honda Integra, and I completely missed what the top car was. I'm sure I'll see what it was when I overtake it. That's harsh, making you change gear right as you have to brake for a corner. This game just wants me to try and skip a gear. Ooh, running wide a little bit. Lots of understeer. Didn't quite get it slowed down enough. 11 seconds off first place, but lucky there's three laps from this one. Move to his inside. I don't like those double braking zones, I wish it was just one long zone. I think I've talked about this before. It's one long zone rather than have to brake, get off the brake, travel a little bit, then just brake again to downshift. It seems like a waste of time. And kind of counterintuitive to the way a racing driver should always want to be is going as fast as possible all the time. Whoops. Just let me nudge the FTO up the rear. Won't be able to get the inside, but no, can't even get a slip string because so I missed the gear. Shock. Oh, my bad. Back off a little bit, try and do it properly. Really don't like this track, it's a bit tight and twisty, so I just nudged him again twice. Horn, wipers. We're going into this corner outside the car view. Chase can. Doing so well in this one. So 
over my uh, optimism about seeing what car first place was in when I overtook it was a bit optimistic. Yeah, we'll see. I didn't take her put up much of a fight. Safe to move over. Also not spearing off the racetrack. Oh, it's only a second to go. About half a lap left. Come on, Sanchez. Come to me. Nice big plunge up his inside. Didn't quite work. He's in a say -up. That's what it was. Looks like an Abita. I got him, and oops, not a perfect line through there. Second up already, not too bad. Come on, that's it. Well, that was tight and tense. Didn't think I was actually going to have that for a while then. I've only overtaken one car at the end of the first lap. So, 2.2 second gap. That one replay. I wish they'd cut that out. If I wanted to see a replay, I'd choose the instant replay function. I don't want to see a replay as soon as I finish. Another three stars. I think 8,000 more credits. Next out of this one. an hour while the PlayStation loads. No, it was only a couple of seconds. That's good. And last one, Special Stage Route 5 Clubman. Yes, this is a night race. And 8,300. Yeah, that's not bad. But then obviously there's a 10% bonus to add on to that. It's a good feature they've added. I think that was in... GT5, adding the percentage bonuses for logging into PlayStation Network. Just a easier way to get a bit more money. Help you buy more cars and more performance upgrades. It's nice. So this race we're against the Civic Type R, a 207, and I really wish that wouldn't skip. Oh, I can go back. Next page. Well, I'm pressing next page on my controller, on my steering wheel. Let me go and see the next page. No, I guess I'll never find out. Anyway, it was on screen long enough for you guys to see the video, so... I'm sure that hopefully if I can get past them I'll be able to see what they're driving. That's a 206. And that's a Civic. Three laps around this track as well. Should give us plenty of time to catch them all. Break it up as inside. 
Ooh, little nudge. My bad. Didn't turn in enough. Sorry, Luo. Not even sure what flag that is. If anyone can tell me in the comments, that'll be fantastic. I'd love to know what country that, that flag belongs to. Oh, tag the wall too quick. Not going well. Live commentaries are a bit new to me because if you've seen my Formula 1 videos, you don't really have any choice but to do that in post while you're actually editing the video to do the commentary. So I can just sit back and watch it rather than have to talk while doing it. It's, it's a good way to try and keep my concentration up. To learn how to do this so that I don't fall asleep while doing other tasks. Keep my eyes on the prize. Try and prove women wrong when I say men can't walk task. Sorry if there's any women watching. Nice mini there. V2 is going down like all the others. I'm going to miss a gear. Oh, this raking is sloppy. Sorry to everyone watching. This driving is not my best. It's sloppy on all counts. At least I didn't tank the wall that time, that was a bit tidier. Yeah, that's a lot tidier too. Just missed the gear change, I was too up in. Oh dear. that one though. It's a big old gap I built up over what, half a lap maybe? No, the full lap so I passed them in the tunnel. 2.6 seconds. Not bad. Again, don't want to see the replay. 9,000 credits. Good, we're edging closer to that 100,000. Three stars completing the set in this challenge, in this championship. And exit. So there we are. Three stars in all three races. Three golden trophies for finishing first. 85,000 credits in the bank. And mission races are now available. I think in the next video. Uh, allowed you to experience all kinds of intense race situations. Yeah, uh, in the next video, I think I'll go ahead and do some mission races. So, uh, tune in next week. Thanks for watching.